following lecture we're going to discuss an electrochemical cell an electrochemical cell is made up of two electrodes the electrodes are different types of electrodes that we just studied previously so here i've taken i've taken a sodium sodium ion electrode in which uh, there's going to be a reversible reaction setup where where sodium uh, ions would be gaining electrons to form uh, sodium and vice versa it's going to be a reversible reaction where sodium in return would be losing electrons to form sodium ions back again so a reversible reaction would be set up and this electrode is going to have a very specific e naught value which in this case is minus 2.71 volts so so this is one of my electrodes its value is minus 2.71 volts and we also discussed uh, this silver silver ion electrode previously as well so I've connected the two electrodes together. The silver silver ion electrode is going to have this reversible reaction where silver ions would be gaining electrons to form silver and the reverse reaction would also be occurring. And the electrode potential for this specific reaction is 0 0.80 volts. So this electrode has an E0 value of 0 0.80 volts. Now I have these two electrodes, one silver silver ion electrode and one sodium sodium ion electrode and I have connected them together with a voltmeter which is going to measure the voltage and there is a salt bridge and I am going to explain the role of the salt bridge later but, but, but right now you need to know that the salt bridge is necessary to complete the circuit to complete the movement of electrons if electrons are moving from one side to the other side then the charges must flow back, to, back as well so that is going to complete the circuit Now if you look at this arrangement you're going to notice that this electrode is at a negative potential and this electrode is at a positive potential. This is your higher potential. So this side, this side over here is your higher potential. Whereas the other side, the minus 2.71 volts, the sodium sodium ion electrode is at a considerably lower potential. And we know that electrons move from the lower potential to the higher potential, from the negative side to the positive side. So the movement of electrons, the moment I'm going to connect the two electrodes together, uh, the reversible reactions that are set up over here, they're going to be disturbed because electrons will start flowing from one electrode to the other electrode and that's going to produce or generate electricity. So in this case, electrons are going to move uh, from the sodium sodium electrode towards the silver silver ion electrode so this is the direction of the movement of electron flow uh, they move from the lower potential to the higher potential the lower potential being the sodium electrode the higher potential being the silver the, this is the more positive so electrons are going to be attracted to this electrode what this would do is as electrons start moving um, the amount of electrons over here is going to increase so as electrons reach the silver silver ion electrode they're going to disturb this reversible reaction that is set up over here and the amount of electrons over here increase and if they increase this would favor the forward reaction so so the reversible reaction gets disturbed and a forward reaction is favored more forward reaction takes place because uh, now you have more electrons so more forward reaction takes place whereas on the other side you have this sodium sodium ion electrode where this reversible reaction was set up but as electrons move from this electrode to the other electrode this electrode over here is losing electro electrons and as it is losing electrons, it must produce more electrons. So the reversible reaction would favor the backward reaction over here. So this is what we discussed previously as well. The higher potential, whenever you connect two electrodes together, the higher potential will then have a tendency to gain electrons. So it's going to start gaining electrons. And the lower potential, which has a tendency to lose electrons, would start losing electrons so remember the higher potential always gains electrons the lower potential always loses electrons and this results in the generation of electricity so this is what your electrochemical cell does where you have two electrodes you connect them together and this results in the production of a current where electrons move from the lower potential to the higher potential now if you look at these two equations I'm going to rewrite these two equations because now they're no longer reversible reactions the equilibrium has been disturbed this sodium uh, electrode is now going in the reverse direction. The reversible reaction is a uh, reverse reaction is occurring. So I'm going to write that reaction. The reaction that is occurring at this electrode is this reaction over here. 
and the reaction that is occurring at the silver silver ion electrode is this reaction this particular reaction over here so I'm going to write that reaction down so it's the silver ion plus electron forming silver so no longer I am I using the reversible sign I'm not going to use the reversible sign because I, now I know once the two electrodes are connected together it's no longer a reversible reaction lower potential loses electrons higher potential gains electrons and if you're interested in an overall equation for the electrochemical cell what you're going to do is you're going to simply you're going to simply add the two equations up add these two equations together the left hand side and the right hand side add the reactants and the products and you're going to get your overall equation which in this case is going to be you have sodium on the left hand side over there you have silver ions and on your right hand side you have sodium ions and you have silver atoms and the electrons are going to cancel each other out so this over here is your is your uh, complete equation for the electrochemical cell another thing that is often asked is for the E0 cell the overall cell voltage and the E0 cell is the E0 for reduction minus E0 for oxidation or what you can see what you can state is if you look at the cells it's basically the potential difference between the two electrodes so you have you have a 0 0.8 volt on one side and a minus 2.71 volts on the other side generally in physics what the way you find potential difference is that you subtract the higher potential from the lower potential in this case in technical terms it's reduction minus oxidation so if you look at this uh, electrode over here this reaction over here it's going in the forward direction which means this side is reduction so this side over here is reduction and if you look at the reaction over here it's going in the backward direction it's losing electrons so this is oxidation so this side over here is oxidation so it's uh the E0 cell is basically higher minus low, which in this case is 0 0.80 minus minus 2.71 volts. So it's simply reduction minus oxidation in technical terms. Reduction being the silver silver ion electrode, oxidation happening at the sodium sodium ion electrode. And the value that you're going to get, the overall E0 cell for this cell is going to be, it's going to be 3.5 one volts which is very high and this E0 cell is going to indicate how fast the reaction would occur and how fast would be the movement of electrons how fast would some uh, would one electrode be gaining electrons and how fast would the other uh, electrode be losing electrons so the higher the value of E0 cell the more feasible the reaction is going to be now I'm going to try to explain to you the purpose of the salt bridge as well because uh, we've studied what an electrochemical cell is now I'm going to explain to you why a salt bridge is very necessary for uh, for this electrochemical cell because without the salt bridge uh, this entire process this entire uh, passage of electricity would not be possible so what a salt bridge does is if you look at this equation over here uh, you would notice that this reaction is going in the forward direction which means that your silver ions are getting converted into silver atoms so all your silver ions in the solution they're being converted which means that the amount of silver ions in the solution are going to be reduced because all of them would start getting converted into silver atoms and if you look at the other side where you're going to notice that a reverse reaction is occurring what's happening on the other side is that sodium atoms are getting converted into sodium ions so what that would do is that the solution is going to contain more and more uh, sodium ions more sodium ions would be produced because more sodium atoms would be converted into sodium ions so so a lot of sodium ions would be converted uh, would be formed so what you what you're going to notice is that the solution over here is becoming less it's going to contain less positive ions because all your positive ions are getting converted into silver atoms so so less and less uh, positive ions would be uh, would be present in this solution whereas over here in this solution the amount of sodium ions are going to constantly increase now a current would not be possible because uh, as sodium ions increase the solution becomes more positively charged and as it becomes more positively charged it's not going to allow the electrons to flow because it's going to attract it's going to attract these electrons back so so as the solution becomes more positively charged it's going to attract these electrons back and it's going to try and stop the amount of current from flowing 
and as this solution over here becomes less positively charged it's not going to attract the electrons so the current would not be able to flow uh, as the amount of positive ions in the solution they become uh, their concentration increases or decreases so that's going to prevent this pre prevent the movement of electrons from one side to the other side so what a salt bridge does is that a salt bridge consists of a gel of a salt of a specific salt so if the amount of sodium ions in this solution increase what it would do is it's going to try and absorb these sodium ions so it's going to start absorbing these sodium ions it's going to try and remove the excess sodium ions that are being formed all these sodium ions are going to be absorbed by the salt bridge whereas on the other hand on this side as the amount of positive ions decrease the salt bridge is going to try and increase the amount of positive ions by and this happens via diffusion more positive ions would be would be uh, would diffuse into the solution and that would stabilize the amount of charge in the solution so so the amount of positive ions in the solution remains unchanged the amount of positive ions over here remains unchanged this the salt bridge acts as a bridge which uh, stabilizes the amount of positive ions in both solutions and that is how electrons would consciously flow from one side to the other side and they would not be able to face any hindrance now in the end i'm going to try and figure out uh, how to write the cell notation for an electrochemical cell so uh, the cell notation is a shorthand representation of the of this entire uh, electrochemical cell that we just drew earlier where we uh, drew the entire electrochemical cell and we wrote down the equations that would occur at anode and cathode so the uh, starting with the with the basics first uh, we need to first define what an anode is so and similarly we need to define what a cathode is so that's the first thing that we need to define so an anode is going to be that electrode where reduction where oxidation is occurring so so it's the electrode where oxidation happens And similarly, you have cathode. A cathode is the is going to be the electrode where reduction happens. So if I if I go back and relate to the electrochemical cell that we that we just did earlier, uh, you can see that this electrochemical cell uh, sodium is the one that's uh, losing electrons over here. So, so you can see sodium losing electrons. It's the lower put. It's the it's the lower potential. So the lower potential uh, gets oxidized. So I, I would write that down. This is the place where oxidation is occurring. So this here is the oxidation side, and this would be called your anode. And on the other hand, you have a higher potential where a reduction would occur. Silver ions would gain electrons. So this is the side where reduction is occurring. So reduction means that this side is your cathode. So don't look at the higher potential, more positive, more negative, etc. Don't look at the charges. Uh, by definition, uh, reduction is the place where, uh, uh, where reduction occurs. That's going to be your cathode. And where oxidation occurs, that's going to be your anode. When you when you write the cell notation, you're going to start from your anode. So your anode is going to be on the on the left hand side, and you're going to end with your cathode. The cathode would be on the right hand side, and there's going to be uh, a double uh, uh, line dividing uh, dividing the two. This would indicate that this is a salt bridge. So this would show that this is the salt bridge. And the next thing that you're going to do is. So let's uh, try and figure out, let's copy the reactions that were occurring over there in the in our previous reactions. You had uh, sodium was getting oxidized over here. So you had sodium getting oxidized and you had silver ions getting reduced. So you had these two reactions happening. Now what you're going to do is you're going to start from the left hand side and you're going to follow through and reach the right hand side. So you're going to follow the exact order. So Sodium is losing electrons to form sodium ions. So in your electrochemical uh, cell notation, what you're going to do is you're going to go back to the electrochemical cell notation and you're going to start with uh, sodium. As I just showed you that sodium was losing electrons. So a vertical line and it was forming sodium ions. So that's the direction 
uh, in which you're going to write the cell notation. Sodium was losing electrons and forming sodium ions. And as you go back to the to the other side, the cathode side, you're going to notice that uh, silver ions are gaining electrons to form silver. So you're going to follow the same exact order. So so the next step would be that you write uh, silver ions. They were gaining electrons, a vertical column dividing them, and they were forming silver. And there's going to be this salt bridge in between. So this over here is your is your electrochemical cell notation. So let's uh, highlight that. This is this is my electrochemical cell notation of the cell that I just drew above.